Hi everyone. Video 7 of Hannah Gilman, your confidence and dignity after divorce coach. You know that these videos aren't scripted, right? <laughs> and I often go to sleep wondering what am I going to say tomorrow. And today something has very much been playing through my head, so I'm going to just tell you the story. Before I do, I want to thank you for all the private messages yesterday. Um, very warming. I, I hope these videos are serving you. I try to come from the heart and you know I can only share what, what worked for me. Um, the story, oh, one of the big questions I'm getting in every video is have you lost weight? And I'm just going to address it here. Yes, I have. Um, I am maintaining a 30-35 pound weight loss for the last year and a half. Ladies, I want to tell you when you do the inner work uh, you lose the issues in your tissues and it's life-changing. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, um, I want to tell you an angel story. Very often you look at people and you say, oh, she knows so many people. She's so lucky. Everybody wants to help her. Nobody wants to help me. I don't know what to do. I have no answers to my questions. So two or three months before my divorce, we knew we were getting divorced, but no one else did. And I knew I needed to plan and prepare and get some answers on financial issues. I was given the name of a woman to call and was told she would be able to help me. One afternoon I called her, let's call her Susie. She said, hello. I said, are you Susie? She said, yes. I said, you don't know me. So and so gave me your number. I am heading to a divorce, which is not public yet. And I was wondering if you could answer some questions. She said, sure. Who am I speaking with? And I said to her, I am not going to give you my name. It is not a public situation. And do you mind talking to me anonymously? She said, fine. What are your questions? We did not schmooze. She answered my questions and that was it. Over the course of probably two or three months, I called Susie four times. Um, she would say hello and I would say, hi, it's me. And she would say, how are you? I would say, fine. And she'd say, how can I help you? That was it. The fifth time that I called Susie, she said hello. And I said, my name is Hannah Gilman. And she said, it is so nice to meet you. How are you? I said, fine. And she said, mazel tough. And we did make a date to meet. We met, Susie took me on as a gratis client. Um, and in order for me to give back, I invited her to teach once a week in my house over the course of three months to a group of 10, there were 10 or 15 of us divorced women, some from my neighborhood, some traveled in. Some became clients, some didn't. It was, we lived in, I lived in Israel, we all, she taught us how to read our bills, what are the banking laws, what are our rights as single women, uh, if you have children, if you're older. She was a gift in all of our lives. And I want to tell you that if I hadn't made that call, if I would have remained passive and frightened and I don't have answers, Susie wouldn't have had the opportunity to step up and be an angel to so many women. And I want to tell you how it just keeps on giving. Just last week I received an email from someone asking me, who was the woman that helped you with your finances when you were getting divorced? Um, I need help. Now I have two friends, Susie and another one, who are both very well known in the financial industry. I always give both names because it's best to shop around. You need a good fit for whatever you do, have a choice. And I sent both of their names last week to someone in Israel. Ladies, take care of yourself. You know, if you are heading to a divorce or you've been through one, whatever the questions you have are, start to be who you need to be to get your answers. You were so used to being a good girl, hoping your marriage would work. Those days are over. Get over it. And if you stay in your marriage, get over it. Be real. Start to be real with yourself. What do you need? It's finding a voice. And it doesn't just happen because you watched seven videos of Hannah Gilman. Oh, I need to ask, uh, I don't have to answer a question. I could be who I want to be. It doesn't work like that. 
thank you so much for all the comments, all the shares. Um, give people an opportunity to be angels in your life. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.